All right, in this example, I have x squared um, divided by y to the fifth, all raised to the third power. So in this one, this rules of exponent is going to be using what we call the power to quotient rule. The power to quotient rule is the same, the same thing applies for the power to quotient as does to the power to product. Basically, what that means is when you have an expression um, that's separated by division, or if they're separated by multiplication, you can distribute the power. Please just remember, so it's the same thing as this. Um, so anyways, this could be re rewritten as x squared to the third power divided by y to the fifth to the third power. So when you have your terms separated by multiplication or division, you actually distribute the power. All right. So therefore, I end up getting x to the sixth divided by y to the 15th. And obviously, since these are not the same base, I can't simplify that any further. All right? I just want to go over real quickly um, the power to product rule. Just so you guys can see, it's the same thing. See how it's separated by multiplication? So it would really look like this. Remember, this is the power rule. If you have an exponent raised to a power, that's why I multiplied those, right? Just a reminder. However, here's where everybody makes their mistakes. What if I had an equation that looked like this? Now you can't do a distributive property. You can't distribute that 3 to both of them. So that only works for division and multiplication. When you have something, when you have an expression separated by addition or subtraction raised to the power, then you have to use FOIL, right? You'd have to do this times that, you know, see it, right? Right? Okay. Just want to make sure we're clear on that, because that's like one of the most common mistakes ever is students doing.